Hi, this is JP from Nautilus of Arkham. Welcome to another tech testing Marvel Champions LCT video. And this time I am testing a Ghost Spider Aggression deck against Venom on Expert difficulty. I decided to try Ghost Spider in an Aggression build because I don't play that much Aggression and there are a couple of interesting uh, uh, Aggression events that have the race or the interrupt trigger so I decided to build a deck around those also I wanted to try out the symbiote suit uh, basic card that comes in the sinister motives expansion so that we hopefully get to see ghost spider in a symbiote suit to fight off another symbiote venom I have set up the scenario already but let's first look at the deck I built Okay, and here is the Ghost Spider deck I built on marvelcdb.com and let's look at the deck quickly. Uh, I have only a couple of aggression allies. I have Bug. Uh, Bug is a really good uh, ally to have with Ghost Spider because every time Ghost Spider uh, does a basic attack you can heal and uh, with Ghost Spider's ability, you can also ready Ghost Spider with a interrupt or a response event. Uh, the other is Thor. I haven't tried out Thor yet, and there are a lot of minions in the deck. Uh, so, this is a nice way to deal with a um, horde of minions when you get those. Uh, but let's see how that works. Then I have uh, the usual Nick Fury, but also three copies of Spider-Man. I have the uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man. Uh, this, this doesn't trigger the Web uh, Warrior keyword, but it's okay card still. Then we have the uh, other Spider-Man uh, and of course we have the Peter Parker version of Spider-Man which has the Web Warrior. So these are really good when you can get the, them into play with the tick, um, with, which was it, with the, uh, not the ticket to the multiverse, but the across the spider-verse event. So uh, we can uh, play them from the discard cheaper and ignoring the costs that they have and to trigger that, we have the Web of Life and Death uh, and Destiny, which will act as a Web Warrior card you can um, exhaust to uh, play that uh, card. Then uh, we have events. Chase them down is a response, so after you defeat an enemy by attacking, for example, with spider, uh, Ghost Spider, you can respond to Quark and ready Ghost Spider and remove some threat. Then, uh, uh, skill strike, uh, you can boost the basic attack of Ghost Spider, then uh, after that has uh, that attack has resolved and this ep event has resolved, you can ready Ghost Spider. Then, uh, surprise attack, um, in my test play I didn't get to play this uh, at all, but uh, this could be really interesting. You could play this with uh, when you first heal in Alter Ego, then change to Hero Mode. You are exhausted, but you can play this and ready uh, Ghost Spider. So this could work really well if you can uh, time it well. Um, Martial Prowess is just here to act as a resource. Uh, source for uh, the surprise attacks so the surprise attacks get to be resolved with a physical resource so they deal for damage and uh, nothing that uh, strange about the deck it's quite straightforward um, so I think that is all I wanted to say about the deck I will put the deck list into the video description if you want to check the deck out so, we are uh, set up, so I have already put the tooth and nail side scheme into play because of Venom's stage 2 when revealed effect. And 
that deals us an extra encounter card each round. And we will get rid of that while we start dealing damage to Venom. So uh, we are trying to get some uh, chime counters onto the bell tower so that it flips and we can deal more damage to Venom. So uh, hopefully we can uh, deep down <laughs> Venom with this aggression deck, but we'll see. So without further delay, let's get started. You are ready to begin. I'll just draw my opening hand. So one, two, three, four, five cards. And uh, we get the symbiote suit right away, which is really great. But let's see what else we get. So we get four, the power in all of us. Bug, uh, bug and pirouette and punch. So I think uh, we are not able to play. Well, we need four resources for that. Which we really want to get into play as fast as possible. So we need that. Uh, then maybe pirouette and punch. And Thor is not needed at the start. So I'll probably discard these two to see if I get any more double resources or stuff like that. I'll keep Buck in just in case. And we get the energy which will help us. Web binding is not that useful but it is what it is. So uh, let's start by playing the symbiote suit. I'll use uh, energy and the power in all of us. I'll keep these two in hand and I'll flip to uh, hero mode. I will attack Venom for four, uh, for three. So now actually I'll mark that I have plus one all stats with these markers. Then uh, yeah, we hit for three, but we will instead put that amount of uh, chime counters here, so we don't hit Venom yet. But hopefully soon enough, we'll ready up. We draw back up to, uh, six now, because now we have... Uh, actually, let's upgrade my health to 20. So we have 20 health. Then we have uh, plus one hand size and plus one to each of our uh, basic stats. So now we are two, three, four stats wise. So uh, that is everything. So we get to draw four cards, uh, skill strike, chase them down, short stacy and web bracelet. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Venom attacks and uh, I think for now, oh yeah, this flipped, so we deal extra damage to Venom, but let's see what we do, I would really want to play Pug, so I'll save those, or maybe not, well, yeah, I think I know how to do this, so I'll use Chase them down and Jot Stacy to play. Uh, web binding to cancel the attack. Or let's not do that. We'll just take it in the chin for now because we have plenty of health to go around. So when I'm hits for two plus three is five, we'll just take the five damage. Then we get the three in counter cards because we get the plus one from here and plus one from here. Uh, first is a common criminal, second is uh, violent ten, uh, tendencies, uh, tendencies. Attached to the villain, attached villain takes any amount of damage from an attack. Give attached villain one face down boost card. If that attack deals dealt three or more de and damage to attached villain, discard this card. So that is okay. And then guard the bell tower. Treat the bell tower's printed text box as if it were blank. Except for trades, when we will remove each time counter from the bell tower and flip it back to its other side. Okay, so that was not nice, but it is what it is, so we'll have to uh, get rid of this somehow. I'll actually. 
yeah, I'll keep it over here. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, how do we want to do this? So uh, yeah, I can use the chase them down. So I think for this turn we will hit the common criminal for three damage. We'll chase him down. No, no, let's stop. So First off, let's play the web bracelet. I'm using these two, web binding and George Stacy. We have the web bracelet in play, and now we'll hit the common criminal. We have three attacks, so it is enough to defeat it. Then we'll chase them down, we'll draw a card, we ready up, remove two from a scheme. Now I think I will uh, thwart for one, getting rid of this, so now the bell tower works again. And I will use Pog and Skill Strike to play Ghost Kick, dealing six to Venom, except I will put them as time counters. And uh, that is all I can do. We ready up. We draw back up to six. We get Helicarrier, Spider Man, Peter Parker, Surprise Attack, Combat Training, Phantom Fleet times two. And uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, I'll defend against the Venom's attack, so uh, 2 plus 0. But we'll play a Phantom Flip using uh, Surprise Attack and Spider Man. We remove four, uh, 5 from here. Ready up, draw a card. Then we'll get 3 encounter cards. Exhaustion. Searches. I uh, will get uh, improvised weapons onto Venom. So now every boost card is plus one. Oh yeah, uh, we drew one too many. Let's back up. I think so. One, two, three. Sorry about that. I was a bit too fast with this. So okay, <laughs> and it's not not that much better. So. Shadows of the past, so the lizard comes into play. We put the side scheme of the lizard into play and shuffle these into our deck. And uh, we really need to start dealing damage to Venom to get rid of the tooth and nail, but for now we'll have to just try to work with that. So this has five. Then we get under fire, uh, reveal the top card of the encounter deck search, and then it searches. So um, the villain attacks you, give the villain one additional boost card for that activation. So Venom hits us, I will defend, and uh, we'll get. This gets plus two boost icons, but when on hits for five, I'll defend for four, so I'll take one damage. And actually, I would don't take that because I'll just lose one shine counter. And then uh, we'll get gang up, <laughs> so they both attack me. Oh yeah, uh, before that, I will phantom flip using skill strike and heli carrier. To remove five from here, so I'll take one attack from Venom. Uh, so remove one time counter from the Bell Tower, and plus one, so three plus. Uh, so 
I'll take a total of six damage. So we are hurting a lot. So we'll see how this goes, but it's not looking good. Last card is in cold blood. The lizard attacks you. You cannot ever. Okay, so another three damage in. So that was brutal. We took like four attacks at a turn and couldn't do anything about it. Well, could do some, but not much. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So there is nothing much we can do at this point except to go to Alter Ego. And uh, have I used the ticket to the multiverse yet? I haven't. I can't shuffle that in. Oh well, I'll discard the combat training. We need some good cards now. So that was our whole turn. We ready up. We drove it up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get a uh, genius strength, ghost kick, chase them down, surprise attack, skill strike, and weapon life and death. Uh, skill strike lets us uh, just defeat the lizard. But can we ready? Uh, we have the surprise attack, so yeah, we can. That is great news. But if we survive it that far, but we'll see. So we'll add a threat to the main scheme. In the villain phase, uh, Venom schemes for 2 plus uh, put the enraged symbiote into play. It has guard and patrol, uh, which is not nice, but we have a way to defeat it. And then uh, we get three encounter cards. So this is going to be brutal again. Assault, it surges. Uh, Bitting retort. When revealed, Venom activates against you, each boost guard. Oh, yeah. So, forgot to add. So, we are at 4. So, when I'm activated against you, and everything is plus 1 boost icon, so this gets attached to Venom. So, we get 3. Not looking good. But <laughs> still, this is doable. I, I, did, I defeated Venom in the test game, but this is not looking that good. Another Enraged Symbiote. And uh, last card is uh, for whom the belt on remove two shrine containers on the belt tower and one threat from the main scheme. Well, that was a hard turn, but we'll see how the next turn goes. So let's go to the next round. So we are definitely healing this turn, so I'll heal for three. Flip. I will play skill strike and use it doesn't matter what I use I will use the uh, strength so we deal 4 damage to an enemy We defeat one of the symbiotes, which will ready us and draw us a card. Not of a bracelet. And uh, I will defeat the other in the right symbiote by hitting it. Now we can remove threat and play uh, ghost. Uh, well, let's first play Just chase them down a skill strike to put this down, then uh, play the ghost kick. This gets into play just for free, and we'll defeat the lizard. And we'll draw a card. It's Nick Fury, not useful now, but for next turn. Uh, we're ready up. We draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five cards. Good, we got the Phantom Flip, Web Binding across the Spider Verse, powering all of us, Hero Punch and Nick Fury. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Venom attacks, I will defend. 
uh, Venom hits for 3, plus 1 is 4. I defend it all. I'll play uh, Phantom Flip with Spirit and Punch and Web Binding. So I remove 5. I'm actually doing this. We'll remove. No, 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 no. We need to remove 5 from here so we don't lose. Then uh, we get to ready. We get to draw two cards Ghost Kick and Martial Prowess. Then we get the three encounter cards again. So for whom the bell tolls, we move two. And we have to take one damage. Then uh, Threat or Menace will add to Threat to the scheme. Last one is Advanced, so <laughs> we could lose here. So 2 plus 1 is 3, so barely hanging on. And we would have lost if we would not have removed Threat from there. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, um, I think I'll have to pay any fury. Get draw cards or deal four damage to an enemy or a, or remove two threat. Well, two threat is not good enough, so we'll play any fury. I'll use the, the power in all of us, um, martial prowess, and 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 uh, across the spider verse. Then we draw the three cards. Two, three. A parental guidance, Spider Man, and ticket to the multiverse. Really good. Oh, yeah, and this was used for Nick Fury also. Okay, uh, Nick Fury will hit the top off. And uh, then I will play what do I want to play? Only I had one more card, this would be a really easy turn, but it is not, so... I'll use the ticket to the multiverse. No, not yet. I will hit for 4 damage, uh, 3 damage. Uh, that means that uh, we get one face down boost card. We also get one because we hit Venom. That dealt damage. No. I will hit for 3 and put some counters here. Uh, so this would have flipped and now it flips back. And then... We will uh, ghost kick for 7 damage on Venom. We remove seven from here. Then uh, we, yeah, we had two of these counters, so we only have one left. And this gets removed, and we get deal one card here, and we get to ready with the ghost kick. Then we'll play the martial prowess. Then I will hit. Uh, I will thwart for two now. And that is everything I can do. So we ready up. And we draw back up to five. So this is a boost card. This is an encounter 
guard. We shuffle our deck. If Fury can tank us for this round. Hoping to draw something good, which will help us out. But yeah, um, yeah, mm, I'm just debating should I still hit so I can get rid of the tooth and nail. No, there's too much of a risk to take an advance to the face and lose, so I'll go with this plan. Okay, and uh, we draw back up to six. We get surprise attack, Spider Man, Ghost Kick, Helicarrier, Combat Training, and Phantom Clip. So actually, we can get rid of it before um, uh, we draw the encounter card. So I will go to the villain phase. We can go threat. Venom attacks. I will defend. Venom hits us for uh, 3 plus 2, so 5. So I'll remove one time counter and don't take any damage. Then uh, we will respond to that by playing the ghost kick. And I'll use the combat training and heli uh, surprise attack for the ghost kick. And I'll deal 7 damage to Venom. So that removes this one. Then we get to ready, we draw two cards, we get chased him down and web binding. Then we get encounter cards, we already have one, so we draw two because of the symbiote. First one, oh yeah, and uh, Venom took damage, so this is removed also. First one is swinging assault, the villain attacks you, give the villain one additional boost card for this activation. I will defend for this one. Uh, 2 plus, uh, I take 2 indirect damage, so Nick Fury dies. Then uh, I get 3 plus 2 is 5, so I'll remove 1 time counter. Don't take any damage. I'll get to play the Phantom Flip, and I'll use Helicarrier and chase them down. Now I'll uh, I don't have any attack events, unfortunately. Well, I'm using the Spider-Man. Well, I chased him down and Helicarrier. And uh, we remove 5 from here. So we are slowly but surely getting back to the game. <laughs> But we'll see, so then we get Volunteer Work, it has 3, and uh, we get an Acceleration Token from that, another, now we're angry. So I'll mark again with this, and that is everything, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. So nothing much we can do at this stage, except go to Alter Ego to regain. Uh, we haven't used to get the multiverse again, so but no point he staying here. So I'll uh, actually, yeah, we have the web binding, so we can stop Venom from attacking. So we'll stay in hero mode, so we're just ready up, and that is our turn. We draw back up to. Six. Phantom flip, skill strike, pirouette punch, and punch and strength. So a decent hand for the villain phase. We add two threat to the main scheme. Uh, Venom attacks. I will cancel that attack with the web binding. Using strength. I oh, know. I will use spirit and punch and skill. So we get to draw two cards, Thor and Genius. 
Then we get two encounter cards, which are adapted to your identity. We are webbed up. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> change it a bit. I, I meant to keep this just in case for this happens. So okay, so webbed up I will cancel. When a card is drilled in encounter deal elements to a card one elements the card cancelled cards when we act that so I think we'll just cancel it with strength. Yeah that. You don't want to get wet pointed. Then the last card is God of Guard. Uh, we discard Martial Prowess. That's there just so that the, uh, at the moment do not be totally messed up with those God of Guards. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So this round we can actually play something, so we'll use Thor and Genius to play Spider-Man Miles Morales and we will boost Thwarting. Uh, yeah, so we'll Thwart for 3. Then... Uh, let's see... We will hit for uh, four damage. Then we'll go to Alter Ego. Next round we'll have to get rid of that somehow. And that is all we can do. We ready up. We draw back up to. Oh yeah! Uh, before anything else happens, Venom will. Go to this form. This goes away. So we, uh, Venom now has uh, retaliate one, thaw, and twenty hit points. So we're halfway through the uh, the scenario, but that was a struggle. <clears throat> and that is everything we can do. So we already we have ready it up. So we go back to seven. We get a skill strike. Josh Stacy, powering all of us. Chase them down. Ghost kick, turret and punch, and web binding. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, so we add two threats to the main scheme. Venom schemes for two, plus put this in, uh, in play. So two, that's all good. Can easily defeat the symbiote next round. Then we get two encounter cards. It's R, uh, we get improvised weapons, and an assault with searches, a common criminal. So that was an easy turn for us. But that was that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, first off, we'll defeat the uh, Enraged Symbiote with uh, Trans Morales. Then we will uh, discard two resources of any type. Threat and Punch and Web Binding to get rid of the... Uh, remove three thread from here, so that is removed. Then I will uh, re uh, discard skill strike to remove common criminal, and I'll draw one card, Spider-Man, which we can actually play. So I'll use the power in all of us as a uh, mental and physical. No. Uh, Physical and energy. And uh, I'll use chase them down. To play Spider Man. So we'll heal for three. We flip to hero mode. 
will hit for two we actually I yeah uh, we we hit for uh, I'll actually towards for two so we ready and uh, I'll play Yeah, I'll just hit the top off. I'll take one from the retaliate. And that is it. So we're ready up. We draw back up to six. I will discard George. Get Phantom Flip. Energy. Get to the multiverse across the spider verse, uh, parental guidance, and cross kick. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Venom attacks. I will defend with Miles Morales. Venom hits for uh, enough to defeat Miles Morales. And uh, we get an acceleration token. We shuffle the encounter deck. And we get two encounter cards. So we get the lizard and we get the master plan. So um, if there are no side schemes in play, discard cards from top of the encounter deck until we hit the side scheme. Uh, hopefully, nothing that bad, but might be brutal. Okay, tooth and nail. So uh, at least we can get rid of that easily. And uh, that won't trigger yet, so we'll just place it over here. And. Uh, I didn't have pirouette and punch, so I couldn't cancel that. But yeah, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So first off, I'll hit. The, the lizard for three damage. So three damage there. Then Spider-Man will hit the lizard for two damage to defeat it. And and before that, actually, I would have ghost kick. So I'll use the ticket to the multiverse to ghost kick uh, Venom. Uh, we have this, so we deal seven, five, six, seven. So twelve damage to go. So we get ready and draw two cards. Skill strike and bug. So we remove seven from here. Then I will. Should I play across the spider verse at this point? We have the uh, we have do we have the other spider man? Yeah we don't so we are not playing that yet. Um those will be there. So I will just hit Venom for So I took one retaliate from the Rose Kick also. Let's not forget about the retaliate. So I will hit and I'll use skill strike to go to 5. So we hit for 5 damage, 6 damage because of the bell tower. So we still need to deal 7. Then uh, I'll play the phantom flip. Oh yeah, and we dealt damage so this goes away. So Phantom Flip will remove these, and I'll just play Bug, and wait. That is everything, so we're ready up. We draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and I accidentally put one of these cards here, so I'll just shuffle it here. Get an encounter card. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have the power in all of us, rise attack times two, ghost kick and Spider-Man. Uh, Hobby, Brown and Pirate and Punch. So at least we have the... Uh, well, we can actually defeat Venom in the villain phase this round, so that is great. So we'll go to the villain phase, we add two threats to the main scheme. Venom attacks, I will defend. Uh, Venom, oh yeah, and uh, Ven Venom has like, maybe, yeah, I, I, I've been forgetting to add the uh, boost cards, but yeah, well, you can say that this game is moot, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, so much uh, things to remember in this game, so it happens, but let's deal three cards and see what happens. So we'll defend. So uh, zero, three. This is removed. Uh, it take one damage, and so oh, three, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will take three. Uh, then we get two encounter cards. Oh yeah, before those encounter cards, I will just uh, go kick. Okay, we're we're one damage away. Okay, well, I still will go kick for six. And. Uh, We'll get the encounter card, so we get this. Doesn't matter. Then we get common criminal. Doesn't matter. We are when very angry. So that is that. So let's just go to the next zero phase and finish the game off. Oh yeah, and I played a response. So I draw the cards. Get you ready. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Well, I'll just. Defeat this guy with these two, then I will just hit to defeat Venom, and that is the game. So, unfortunately, I noticed that I have been forgetting to add the boost cards when I'm dealing damage to Venom, but that was, I think, a couple of times because I dealt most of the damage with the ghost kicks, which take like half of the total health of one stage, so uh, that might have changed the game quite a bit, but it is what it is, so nothing I can do now, but well, at least we managed to defeat Venom in really strong air quotes, but this deck is really fun, Sym uh, Symbiote uh, was a blast as I thought it would, and lucky we got it into play really fast, and uh, Venom on expert difficulty is no joke, you will have to struggle to get past the first stage, especially when you get the symbiote suit and have the tooth and nail in place, so you are getting so many encounter cards right at the start of the game. But still, a fun encounter, uh, this was a fun aggression deck, I think aggression suits quite well for Ghost Spider and looking forward to new uh, aggression cards that have either the interrupt or response keywords to trigger up of ghost spiders abilities but hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time